if you work in an office building, one of the things you'll notice is above your head, there's a fake ceiling. It's a drop ceiling that is sitting really below the real ceiling that is on up above that. And it's above that fake ceiling where a lot of our industrial use is. We have duct work up there. There are pipes for your plumbing. And usually we're running our network cables up there as well. That area, if there is airflow through it, is called the plenum. Now, your drop ceiling area may not have a plenum inside of it. It may be very much like this, where an air supply is coming into the room, and then there is a separate set of connections for a return. And none of that air that is coming into the workspace is ever going into this area that's outside of that ductwork. And you can see it's a non-circulating airspace. But a lot of environments, you do use that space in the drop ceiling as a plenum. So you may be forcing the air down into the workplace. This is your air conditioning or your heating. But the return is going up into that large area that contains your wiring and your plumbing and all of the other pieces of industrial use that you have above the drop ceiling. And we call that area the plenum. Well, this plenum area becomes very important in the case of a fire. Because if you happen to be taking all of this fresh air and feeding it up into this airspace, you are now possibly feeding the fire with oxygen and making the problem even worse. And in those particular environments, you have to be very careful about the type of network cabling you use because your network cabling is extending effectively the length of the building. And if it catches on fire at one side, that cable could effectively catch fire all the way down the line. And that's not what you want to have happen. And because of that, we need a special kind of cable to use whenever we're going to be putting something into the plenum. If you look at a cable that is rated to be used in a plenum, it may look just like any other cable you happen to have. This is a picture of a plenum rated cable. And it looks just like any other cable that you might use for a drop connection, for a connection to plug in your laptop or your desktop computer. There's really no visible difference there. But if you look very closely, you'll notice that the jacket itself is a little bit different. This plastic kind of jacket that goes around those particular wires looks and feels a little bit different because it's more resistant to fire. And it's using a jacket type that is polyvinyl chloride, PVC, or fluorinated ethylene polymer, or FEP. You'll see those two types of things stated whenever you're looking at a type of plenum rated cable. One thing you'll also notice about plenum rated cable is it's not as flexible as regular cabling is. That's because that particular kind of chemical that they're using to be resistant to fire doesn't have the same characteristics as other cable that you might be using. So you might not be in a place where you can really use the same bend radius in a plenum rated cable as anything else. And if you're planning a cable pull or a cable run, it's another thing that you have to keep in mind. And you have to think about this as a worst case scenario. You certainly don't want to think of your building catching on fire. But if it does, you want to be sure that you're using the right kind of cable in that plenum so you aren't having that fire spread somewhere else by using your network cabling. The riser is another thing that you have to think about. Risers are your connections that go from one network connection on one floor to a network connection on another floor, effectively rising up and down through the building. Those riser cables are a little bit different requirements than plenum cables. You don't necessarily have to have the same type of restrictions on those cables because there's usually some fire stopping that you put between floors. It doesn't matter as much what type of cable you're using there. So you might not be required to put a plenum rated cable between floors, but you absolutely have to put a plenum rated cable inside of that plenum up above your drop ceiling. So be sure to think about that as you're planning out new builds, if you're remodeling a building, and you're putting network cabling in the plenum, you may be required to get a plenum rated network cable.